Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Good morning friends! I'm so excited to meet you all yet another Sunday. So today we are going to see something special and we are going to be active. Are you all ready? Before that, I want to ask you all a question. Friends, have your parents always advised to wear a seat belt in your car? Or have you seen people wear protective uh, uniform or protective gear when they're doing their jobs? For example, a firefighter wearing his suit or an astronaut in his suit or a bike rider wearing his helmet. Why are all these people wearing these protective gears? To protect themselves. Hmm, why are we talking about all this? Well, we are all learning about the different pieces of the armor of God that God has given to us to protect us from the enemy and to fight our spiritual battle. Are you all wearing the armor of God every day, children? Come on. Let us declare the verse in Ephesians 6, 10 and 11 with actions. I'll do the actions first and you can do it with me. Are you all ready? Come on children. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so you can stand against the devil and all his schemes. Are you ready children? Can we do it together? Come on then. Loudly and boldly. Okay? Finally, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you can stand against the devil and all his kings. Once more children, can we do it quickly this time? Great. Finally, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Put on the armor of God so you can stand against the devil and all his schemes. Great children, all of y'all did simply superb. Now come on, let's see what's in store for us today. Are y'all excited? Well, I am. Let's pray and get started. Let us now close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful Sunday morning you have given us to praise and worship and to learn more about you. Dear Lord Jesus, equip us with the armor of God to fight our spiritual battles. I surrender the rest of the service into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God has given us everything to fight against our enemy Satan. So, the, so let's thank him by worshipping him with all of our heart, soul, mind and strength. Let's clap our hands, do, do the action as we sing and worship our Lord Jesus. Hi, good morning church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, isn't it? To be in the house of God. And today we're going to sing with all our hearts. And remember, we are not spectators, but we are participants when we join together and praise God. 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 Amen. So with that note, let's remember that we've been talking about the armor of God. And today we are going to talk about the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and all these things. Okay. Because we are in the Lord's army. Okay. Are you proud that you're in the Lord's army? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, here we go.
breastplate of righteousness, breastplate of righteousness, I am there. Breastplate of righteousness, cause I'm in the Lord's army. things 
Cause first you got a belt of truth Ayo, ayo Put on my boots, I gotta tell good news Ayo, ayo The armor of God and the shield of faith Ayo, ayo Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Ayo, ayo Put on the full armor of God, stay strong Against the evil one, put on the full armor of God, full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God, stay strong against the evil one, put on the full armor of God, full armor of God. First things first, I got a belt of truth. Ayo, ayo, put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. Ayo, ayo. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Ayo, ayo, got my sword and my helmet. Now it's time to pray. Ayo, ayo, put on the full armor of God. Stay strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God. Full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Stay strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won Put on the full armor of God Stay strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God Full armor of God Put on the full armor of God Stay strong Against the evil one, put on the full armor of God, full armor of God. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful time of worship. Thank you, Lord, that with uh, you fight the battle for us. Thank you that with your armor we are safe, Lord Jesus. The armor of God protects us from all evil, Father. Lord, today we consecrate ourselves completely into your hands. Lord, cover us with your precious blood. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Because of Jesus, we have the victory and you've already won the battle for us. Bless this day and thank you for the armor of God. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. 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 Children, I'm sure that by now you know that we need to put on the invisible armor of God every single day. God wants us to be clothed in the armor of God every day so that we can overcome the attacks of the enemy and protect ourselves. Let's play a game called Guess the Armor to check if you all remember the different pieces in the armor of God. I will mention something about the piece of the armor of God that we learned about and you have to guess which piece I am talking about. If you know the answer, you can quickly write your answer in the live chat section below. Are you all ready? The first one, it protects our mind. Which piece am I talking about? Wonderful! The answer is the helmet of salvation. The second one, protects our heart. Which piece am I talking about? Amazing! The answer is the breastplate of righteousness. The third one protects us like a shield. Which piece am I talking about? Lovely! It is the shield of faith. The fourth one protects our body and helps us to stand in God's truth. Which piece am I talking about? Fantastic kids, you all are rocking it. Yes, it is the belt of truth. The fifth one, the word of God 
and God's Spirit. Which piece am I talking about? Brilliant kids! Yes, it is the sword of the Spirit. The sixth one protects our feet and helps us to walk safely. Which piece am I talking about? Great job all of you! The answer is the shoes of the gospel of peace. The seventh one. This piece does not have a parallel piece in the soldier's armor to compare with. Which piece am I talking about? You all are absolutely right. It is prayer. Now that you have got your armor and weapon, go put it to good use daily. Hey kids, today I am going to tell you all a story about three friends. Do you know who these three friends are? Their names were Tim, Kevin and James. Tim. Kevin and James were very good friends. One day, Kevin invited Tim and James to, the, to his house to play. And guess what? All three of them gathered at Kevin's house excited. And guess what? Kevin got out of his toy box. He got these wonderful shiny cars that he had been collecting to play with his friends. The moment Tim and James saw this amazing collection of cars, they were surprised and so happy to see such amazing collection of cars. And immediately, the first thought that came to Tim was, Oh, look at this. Kevin's got such beautiful cars to play with. And I wish I had these kind of cars. Hmm. And Kevin did not hesitate to share his toys with his friends, did he? He was more than willing to play with them and put it back in his collection. However, Kevin just stepped out while his mother called him. And Tim very quietly told his other friend James, James, this car, it, he was holding a beautiful red car in his hand and he said, this car, it's one of my dream cars and I wish I had this, James. And James, told Tim that, you know what Tim, Kevin is not here and nobody is looking. Why don't you just take that car and slip it in your pocket? Nobody will know that you took it. Anyways, Kevin has got so many cars to play with. And Tim, without giving a second thought about the advice that James had given, he didn't even think if it was right or wrong. He just took the car and he put it in his pocket. And after they had finished playing, all three of them dispersed and they ran out of their house, ran out of Kevin's house. James and Tim ran out of Kevin's house. And while they were walking back to their house, suddenly Tim realized that maybe what he did was wrong. And he told James, that you know what James? Maybe I shouldn't have taken that car. It's not the right thing to do to just take somebody's toy without even informing them. It is stealing. And James told Tim, You know what Tim? You don't have to worry about it. Nobody saw it. So just chill. But Tim knew who was watching him. Tim told him that, You know James? Nobody is watching and I know that nobody saw me take that car but God knows what I have done and Tim was very disturbed and he was he wasn't feeling very happy about what he had done so he started walking home he went home with the car nevertheless and he put the car on the dining table and he was just looking at the car very sad and not sure how to handle the situation and Tim's mother came and asked hey Tim whose car is that how come you have such a nice, beautiful car and who got that for you? Tim started sweating. He didn't know what to tell his mother. And Tim said, 
Uh, Mama, that's my friend Kevin's car and he's the one who gave it to me. Do you see what Tim did now? He just lied to his mother. And his mother instantly knew that there was something wrong. So she let him sleep over it. The next day morning, when Tim woke up and came to the dining table to have breakfast, the mother asked, Tim, do you have anything that you want to tell Mama? And Tim immediately broke down. He had been thinking about what he had done all night. And then he narrated the whole incident of how amazing Kevin's cars were. And in that moment of temptation, he didn't know what to do. And he just took that car. He didn't realize at that point that he was stealing somebody's toys. And his mom looked at Tim and she said, Tim, you have been learning about the armor of God in your Sunday school, haven't you? So how could you have used the armor of God to overcome this temptation to steal somebody's toys? Now Tim thought about how he could have used the armor of God and told his mother, Mama, maybe I did not use the helmet of salvation to think right and did not use the breastplate of righteousness to always do the right thing. And I did not use the belt of truth to never lie, to always be truthful and do the right thing. What was the light that man told? Yes, he told his mother that Kevin had given him the card. And he had also done wrong by taking the card without asking Kevin for permission. He was stealing. That's right. And Tim's mother nodded and she said, how about the shield of faith? Did you use that, Tim? Did you use the word of God to fight against the temptation? Tim started thinking, how could he have used these two armor of God? So Tim's mother said, why don't we all read a verse from the Bible? Let's read Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Yes. So Tim brought out his Bible and he read Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. It said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. God is promising us that he will never leave us, not forsake us. Then why do we have this doubt that we might not get the toys that we should have or God thinks that we need? That is how you can use the armor of God, isn't it? Tim and his mother continued talking. Now, let's think back to the time where you actually took the car. Tim's mother said to him, How could you have used the armor of God against Satan? Satan was using an arrow against Tim. And what was an arrow? It was this shiny red car that Tim had always wanted. At that moment when James was telling Tim to take that car without anyone's permission because nobody would notice it, Tim could have stepped back and he could have thought for a few minutes and prayed to God and asked for strength. Right? And in faith, known that God was right next to him, he could have used the shield of faith that God was right next to him and he will take him through this temptation. Or he could have used the sword of the Spirit. What is the sword of the Spirit? The Word of God. And he could have remembered that it is written in the Bible in Exodus that thou shall not steal. That's right. He could have done that. What else could he have done? He could have been very sure that Jesus was always with him. He could have used the shield of faith. Right? And now, he knew that stealing and not being truthful was very wrong. Tim had learned this lesson. And he was ready to apologize to Kevin and give his car back. But what did Tim have to do before that? He had to go to God and tell him what he had done. And repent and ask for forgiveness from God. And say that God, I'm sorry for what I did. And then go and speak to his friend Kevin give him the car and tell him how sorry he was. That is how we use the armor of God.
when we follow Jesus, we are part of God's kingdom and we are in a battle which means we are a part of God's family and his army. God's enemy Satan has his own army and is trying to trick us into believing that we can't fight him or he's very powerful or that God doesn't really love us or God's love isn't good enough. Basically, he will do anything to get us stop trusting and obeying God. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, Be alert of sober mind, your enemy, the devil, prowls around you like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Yes, he is like a roaring lion looking for people to attack and eat. But the good news is that God has given us the armor to defend us against all of the devil's attacks. And if you are going to be in a battle, you have to God to have the right equipment. We must ask the Lord to help us put on each part of the armor every day. Shall we do a recap of all the armor? So the first armor we put on is the belt of truth. Satan is the father of lies and he fights against us with lies and he makes the lies sound like truth. The Bible has all the truth we need to fight against the devil. Wearing the belt of truth is like wearing the devil repellent so the devil's lies can't get through us. Next is the breastplate of righteousness. Being righteous means being right all the time in everything we do. Of course, nobody has done that except Jesus. Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. Uh, so when we ask Jesus to forgive our sins and to come into our lives, we receive Jesus' righteousness. Then comes your feet, the feet of gospel of peace. God has shoes to help us stand our ground against our enemy. The shoes are called the gospel of peace because we need to go and tell people the good news about Jesus. When more and more people believe in Jesus, the devil can't stand it because God's army and his kingdom are both getting bigger. We don't go into the battle empty handed either. God has given us a shield and a sword. The shield of faith blocks us from all the lies of the devil. Are you worried God won't take care of you? No, God promises to give us all that we need. Are you worried God doesn't really love you? No. God loves you very much. Now next is the sword of the spirit. The sword is the word of God or the Bible, which is our weapon to attack the devil. When we speak the promises of God in the Bible against sickness, any problem, fear, temptations, the devil will run away from us. God has also given us the helmet of salvation which is to protect our minds from every bad and negative thought like thoughts of hatred, jealousy, pride which are against God. And finally, the last one is the prayer. Prayer which is our secret weapon makes the devil incapable and destroys all his plans. So keep on praying.
God knows exactly what we will face each day and he has already supplied everything that we require for our battle. In Christ, God gives his children everything we need to stand firm against the devil. So children, stand firm today in God's salvation and put on the armor of God. Our daily battles will not be easy at all. But in Christ, victory over our enemy is guaranteed. We are part of God's family and nothing can separate us from his love. That's right, nothing. And the best part, we are on the side that always wins. So no matter how hard the devil tries to drag us over to his side, he won't be able to do. God helps us to stand strong and gives us the armor we can use in the fight. So let's put it on. Today we learned that in Jesus we need not have to fear Satan and his demons. God is holding us safe and secure. Children, before we close our service today, let's spend some time in prayer. What I'll do is I'll read out the prayer points and for every prayer point I want you to pray quietly or loudly wherever you are and I'll lead out in prayer. Alright, let's close our eyes and look up to God in prayer. The first prayer point we are going to pray for is let's thank God for sharing his victory over Satan, sin and death with us and let's also thank him for giving us the spiritual armor and everything we need to fight our enemy and also overcome him. Let me repeat that. Let's thank God for sharing his victory over Satan, sin and death with us and let's also thank him for giving us the spiritual armor and everything we need to fight our enemy and overcome him. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this privilege, Lord Father, that you are sharing your victory with us, Master. You have won over Satan, sin and death and with your victory we are able to also claim that victory, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for giving us all the spiritual weapons that we need to fight Satan, Lord Father. And we are able to overcome him is because of you, Lord Jesus. It's because of your victory, Lord. It's because of your spiritual weapons, Lord Master. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The second prayer point that we have is, let's ask God to help us remember we need to put on our full armor every day. Let's also ask him to forgive us for all the times that we have given in for the temptation of Satan or we have tried fighting with him using our strength. I repeat, let's ask him to help us remember to put on the full armor every day Let's also ask him to forgive us for all the times that we have given in to the temptation of Satan or we have tried fighting him using our strength. Lord Jesus, Lord we want to ask your help Lord Father. Help us, Master, to remember to make use of the spiritual weapons, Lord. We know that you have given us the spiritual weapons to win over Satan and sin, Lord Father. Help us, Master, that we need to use these weapons every single day, Lord Father. And we also ask for forgiveness, Lord Master, because there have been times when we have forgotten that you have given us these weapons, Master, and we have tried fighting Satan using our wisdom, our strength, Lord Father. We ask for your forgiveness, Master, and help us to remember, Lord Jesus, to make use of your weapons, Lord, every single day, Master. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. The third prayer point we have is, Let's ask God to remind us to pray at all times, in every situation and for everyone. I repeat, let's ask God to remind us to pray at all times, in every situation and for everyone. 
dear lord jesus we ask you lord father to help us master help us remember that we need to pray in all circumstances master in our happy moments sad moments challenging moments we want to pray lord father in every circumstance lord jesus and we want to pray for everyone lord when we spend our time in prayer help us to remember the people who have asked us to pray for them lord jesus help us to remember lord father that you have asked us master that you to pray for everyone and you are a god who is a prayer answering god lord father you listen to our prayers master thank you for helping us and reminding us lord jesus that you will help us to remember everyone lord father and to pray in every situation master thank you lord jesus in jesus name we pray amen unless we have received jesus as your savior from sin you have no helmet of salvation and you have no protection against satan your sin still separates you from god but the lord jesus took your punishment for sin so he could give you his righteousness jesus wants to save you now whoever believes in him receives forgiveness of sins and become children of god If you have never received Jesus Christ in your life and you would like to do so you can pray the simple prayer with me Lord Jesus I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again on third day I accept you as the Lord and Savior of my life in Jesus name amen
Just as a soldier requires his armor for battle, we as children of God should also put on our armor so that we are ready to face our spiritual battles. So every day as you put on your clothes, don't forget to also put on the armor of God. With this armor, we'll be ready to take on the day. We hope you enjoyed today's online kids service. If you have any comments or anything, any feedback for us, please leave a comment in the live chat section or you can also write to us at kidsonline at apcwo.org. Before we close today, I would like to ask you, is anyone celebrating their birthdays this week? If it's your birthday anytime this week, please feel free to write your name, your date of birth and how old you are in the live comments section. That way we as a community and as a church will be able to wish you and, and also pray for you. Let's close for, with a prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this day. We thank you for this time of learning and growing and worshipping virtually with your church Lord. We thank you for everything that we have learned today Lord. Help us to be able to put on this armor that you have given us so that we are equipped every day to face every battle Lord Jesus. We thank you above all that because of you and before, because you go before us, you go with us and you go behind us Lord, these battles are, are, are born by you. We thank you for, 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 your, for your hand of, of, of protection, your hand of equipping, your, your, your presence that goes with us Lord Jesus. We thank you so much for um, just your constant presence with us in everything that we face, in every situation that we face. We pray and ask that we would every day connect with you and that we would not be um, soldiers without armors, but soldiers with armors every day of the week, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray and ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.